Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's just hop straight into it, okay? Angel Spirit Guides, Ancestors of Mine of the Highest White Light. Give me some messages here for my YouTube collective, please, and thank you. Y'all... Y'all could have had a situation where it was like a forbidden love. Maybe. Y'all, I'm getting like Romeo and Juliet. Okay? It's like two people in love with each other, but you got some people, families that's feuding with each other, or you got friends that don't want it to come together, or... Uh, you just got people hating and just don't want it to come together. But you're coming up as the divine feminine. And you could have had some people wanting this person to keep you as like a, a secret. Just like a love affair. Not committing to you because you got dirty little secret down low. I feel like who whoever these people are that maybe they didn't want to see y'all together. Wanted to be where uh, he only kept you in a lustful way or something like that. But you're the whole divine feminine. You're this man divine feminine. feminine. And I feel like this kept him in a mental prison, y'all, okay? Because he wanted to be with you, but you had people that didn't want y'all to be together. And it was kind of, it kind of made it like a forbidden love. And then I end up seeing, uh, I end up seeing, uh, crickets. Y'all, so I had end up seeing the car, so it had crickets on it, right? So I'm feeling like some folks that felt like their opinion mattered so much and they had the authority, because these are people here, y'all, I feel like they felt like they had the, uh, they felt like they had the authority to get in between this connection and actually stop it. Like they had the 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 the, the manipulation tactics to actually get in between this connection and full fledged stop it. These people here felt like they were that powerful, and I want to go deep into it to see. What made these people feel so powerful? What made them feel like whatever it is that they were saying and doing had the power to come in between a divine masculine and a divine feminine, a, 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 a divine union? Okay, because nobody has the power to do that. But these people really, really thought that they could. They did. And I feel like they did numerous of things to try. I honestly did. I honestly do. I feel like they tried multiple things to try to get in between you and this person. And it made it. And your person, y'all, I feel like he had breakdowns. I feel like it was bothering him because he really wanted to love you openly. But he kept it at a certain level because these people had so much to say about it. But it do got your person cleansing and then you got twin flame. So this is your twin flame. Then you got sad out here. Feeling alone, and then you got cleansing. So let's clarify these here and let's just see. Let's just see. <clears throat> this connection definitely is protected because it was just 4 4 on the phone. Y'all, somebody here can feel like you're beautiful, like you're like art or something like that. <laughs> this person finds you to be very beautiful, okay? Yep. He could feel like you're his soulmate, okay? So I don't know if you told your person about Twin Flames or whatever, but he definitely see you as his soulmate, Okay. But this is coming up that this is a twin flame. All right. Give me something on this love affair here. You got 
somebody here, seven of wands, somebody was very defensive. Who is this here? Who is this that was very defensive or very guarded? Okay, so clarifying this seven of wands here, y'all. You got the four of cups, which I did see shuffling in my other deck. You got page of cups and the ace of swords here, right? So everything that I said is the truth. Okay, this person kept you as kind of like a secret. Like he, I feel like he dealt with you on the down low. You know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all had great intimate times together, great dates or whatever y'all had together right but he felt like he had to do this okay because it was people around that did not want to see y'all together they could have been overly judging you or something like that so your person definitely could have rejected this connection like a commitment or something like that yeah and that's why he was in and out like that this is why he was in and out because it was people that did not accept you and his friends group or family okay that's the truth with this ace of swords that is the absolute truth if you was wondering why why he was like he was it could have been amongst of other things but for whoever reading this is for this man had family and friends okay they did not like you they did not want this man with you and they friends could have told him to just be intimate with you or whatever but this man actually loves you here though that's the thing it's just that and that's what kept him in a mental prison because it's like he wanted to be with you he really did but so many people had something to say they had a lot to say about you his friends and his family did they did they did not like you they did not want you with this man they did not want you in their friends group and they did not want you to be a part of this family and you the whole divine feminine. You haven't did anything to these people. You ain't did nothing. But they, let's just see. Because they had this man keeping you as a secret, loving you in secret, scared to love you out loud because of what they were, what, how they thought. So that's why Seven of Wands, that's why he was so defensive and so guarded. You know, because it's like, it's no point in me opening up when i can't be with her out loud like that with so many people against it yeah this person was scared to come give you a love off a knight of cups he definitely was in love with you but it's coming up it's this knight of cups it's because he was scared he was scared y'all he really was these people had a lot to say it's really giving me romeo and juliet i'm telling you Yeah, this definitely is your twin flame. Y'all, somebody name could start with an M. Somebody name here could be Milton. Because I just seen that, y'all. And then I'm seeing M again. Somebody name could be Milton. There could be some one of the people maybe that didn't want to see this together or a hater. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then you got lames. Y'all, Spirit saying these people were lame for, for how they spoke on you and how they did you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they they did different things to try to keep this man from committing to you and being with you. So, I feel like that it was a lot of gossip and slander when it came to you. Like, talking down on you real bad to the point where it's like he felt embarrassed to be with you openly. It's something like that. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. They wanted to... yeah superficial they they wanted him to have a superficial relationship with you like nothing serious like oh bro you know just keep it you know like that like don't that that ain't nobody you commit to that ain't nobody you wife 
You know what I'm saying? You you could do better than that. You need to be with somebody else. Something like that, y'all. They was really talking down on you. Like, for real. Like, real deal talking down on you like you wasn't nothing. Maybe your person could be popular. Okay? He could be pop very popular or something like that. And maybe they felt like you wasn't a good fit for his image or whatever. Yeah. But I feel like it bothers your person a lot, y'all. Because he wanted these people to accept you. When he first told these people about you, whether it was his family, friends, group, he wanted them to accept you. Because this man really... Y'all, when y'all first got together, like, it could have been very good. Like, y'all were going towards a relationship and, like, actively dating. And if you realize that things just changed out the blue, it was because these people said that... He could do better or they didn't like you for whatever reason. Or it was a lot of gossip and slander. Like people lying on you, saying you did this, saying you talked to this person, saying that you like this or saying that you will do this. Different things, y'all. But it wasn't no facts. It wasn't no truth, I feel like, in whatever they were saying. I feel like it was just a bunch of gossip, bunch of hearsay. And they, they got into your person's head. You know what I'm saying? They got into his head, y'all, with this mental prison they did. Cause it's like, dang, I really, I wanted them to like her. I wanted them to see her how I see her, but they wanted him to see you how they see you. It's like, bruh, forget what you talking about. I want you to see her how we see her. You ain't seeing it when you the divine feminine. So your person saw it right, but and and somehow I, I don't y'all something about a legacy. Your person want to build a legacy with you, okay? Point blank and period. And maybe these people knew that. Because like I said, your person could be very popular. Uh, he could be somebody that's very successful or something like that. Or in the community or wherever. He could be somebody known to be very successful. Or like I said, popular. Or like a celebrity. You no know, matter if it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, celebrity, whatever. But the fact of the matter is they, didn't, they felt like he should be with somebody else. And he should be this page uh, with you this page of cups with you you know not not there for a long time y'all can have like a good time he could just have a good time with you and that's it like that's how they wanted him to deal with you they really didn't want him to deal with you at all but they like bro if you do deal with her you know just be there for a little while just do what you do and then just leave you know she ain't nobody that you wife that ain't even the type that ain't even nobody that you need to even be with like that that's what they were saying. Confirmation. That's exactly what was going on. That's exact. But they failed. Whatever they was trying to put in your person's head, they really failed because I feel like he eventually seen through whatever this is that they were trying to do. Okay? He started seeing through like the manipulation tactics. You know, them all working together, trying to get him away from you, putting stuff in his head and change how he really feel about you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but somebody's name could start with an M, either first, middle, or last. And Spirit saying it's some, it's some lame individuals here. These people could have been getting readings on you. Okay. If you got a store online or anything like that, they was going on there. They was trolling. Okay, if you do anything online, these were his friends and family trolling you. Okay. You're somebody that's very balanced with this temperance and this and, and chariot. So definitely you're that's two balance cards. You're very balanced here, y'all. Okay. Yeah. You all birthday could be in July, April, or January. Okay. Yeah, something could be significant about the 14th and the 7th here let's see <clears throat> give me some on divine feminine this divine feminine here okay so now y'all see what's happening is see at first clarifying this love for the seven ones came out right because this person was guarded towards you because of everything that was going on in these people were saying trying to slander you assassinate your character and all that so he was guarded with you. You know what I'm saying? And he did want to kind of keep you like kind of like a secret, right? Because he didn't want these people to know that he was still dealing with you and he loved you, right? Because 
of everything they were saying about you. Well, now he know that you're the divine feminine. He know everything that these people been saying ain't true and they was lying on you. And they was manipulating him to try to get him away from you, right? So now the seven of swords, I mean the seven of wands is clarifying the divine feminine, right? Because see, now it went from him being guarded towards you and being defensive with you and stuff like that to now him uh, protecting you, standing up for you. So now he's standing up for you against these people. Like, bro, that's whatever y'all were saying, that's a lie. That's a whole lie. Like, I know her. I know her character. I done been around her for a while to know what she'll do, what she won't do. Your person know that you have no reason to, to uh, lie to him. You know what I'm saying? And it's something about your business, y'all. I'm telling you. It's something about, a, I feel like some of y'all got y'all own business and these people were trolling your business. Whatever you do to get money online, they were trolling. It was these people attached to your person. His friend group and his family was trolling you. Okay, that's confirmation, y'all. I'm telling you. They did that. That was them that was doing that. So if you got any kind of, com any kind of uh, fake pages on your social media or whatever, People just saying crazy, irate things or whatever. It was these people attached to him. And he finna defend you and stand up for you, I'm telling you, against these people. Because he know that these people wasn't right. And, and he also know what they was trying to do. Get him away from you. Give me something on this uh, lockdown. This uh, mental prison here. Ooh. You got Scorpio energy, so somebody can have somebody could be a Scorpio here. This could be one of these karmic people. Okay, you could be a Scorpio, or your person could be a Scorpio, but it, it's a low vibrational Scorpio here. Okay, so somebody was jealous of you in secret. So somebody was jealous of you in secret and they was abrasive. Okay, and whoever this low vibrational Scorpio is, they uh was lying on you, gossiping about you, spreading lies, okay, in the community about you, all right? And they tried to cause a tower in your life, in your love life with this person, but it came up in reverse, okay? It came up, so whatever tower moment they was trying to cause, it didn't happen. That tower didn't fall here, okay? And see what they was trying to do, they was trying to keep you and this person from coming together, because the four ones came up in reverse. So whoever this low vibrational Scorpio is here, okay, that was jealous of you in secret, wanted to cause a tower in your love life with this person, wanted y'all to be at odds with each other, not wanting y'all to deal with each other, okay, and wanted to convince this person that he wasn't your twin flame. Like, bro, that, bro, huh? That, bro, no, nah, bro. She just talking, bro. She lying to you, bro. She lying to you, bro. That ain't your twin flame. That ain't who you supposed to be with, bro. She'll say anything to get you, bro. You not, bro, you come on that, bro. You know you got money, bro. You know you got this and that. She just want this. She just want that, bro. That ain't who you supposed to be with, bro. You could do better than that, dog. Like I told you, bro. Just do what you do and get up on out of there, bro. This ain't nobody you need to be. Y'all, I'm telling I feel like that's how his friends talk. And that's what they were saying. Like they was trying to tell him that y'all wasn't y'all weren't soulmates. Y'all weren't supposed to be together. This ain't no twin flame connection and stuff like that. And he he need to only be with you in an intimate way and get out of there like nothing. But it didn't work that way. Because see, now your person is finna defend you and stand up for you because he know that you weigh more than just a piece of tail. He know that. Okay, so it's going back to these folks. So really, it's going to be a tower for them, not you. They tried it. Whoever this low vibrational Scorpio is, they tried it. Y'all, and then it's the thing. They were, See, they was jealous of you because you're intuitive. And you are loyal. So maybe these friends know that you're loyal. Maybe they could know that you're really a good person. But they was trying to convince this person that you wasn't loyal. It could be that they ain't got nobody lawyer like you. You're very intuitive. You're very smart. You're very wise. And these people were jealous of that. They were jealous of that. 
And they tried to find anything to gossip and slander you about because in actuality, you're the divine feminine, so you're beautiful. You're very balanced. You know what I'm saying? You're intuitive and you're loyal. So if these people was trying to sit there and say that you only meant to be slept with and stuff like that, um, these people lied because they knew that you were loyal. These are people here that knew that you was only dealing with this person and you ain't like that. But they were lying on you. So when people don't really know what's going on, what they start doing, they start lying. Then they start speculating. Ain't that what they do? Okay, so that's what happened. That's what they, that's what they did. You know what I'm saying? They start lying and they start speculating and stuff like that. The fact of the matter is these people know that you're a good girl. They know that you're a good woman. But they had to make up something. And they was trying, baby, they was trying hard to get in this person's head. Let's see. Give me something on this. Yeah. See, your person, the king of pentacles. See, your person got some type of success, some money. So they wanted him to walk away from you because I did not tell you one of the lies was that you wanted him for his money or his success and that's all you was there for trying to make it seem like you were a gold digger and all of that like she she don't really want you for love brother that one that girl I'm done she don't love you like that she just wants you for what you got somebody here could be a Taurus a earth sign yeah they wanted they wanted this man to walk away from you but they, everything that they did, y'all, they did in secret. I feel like these are things that God told you what was going on. If you're very intuitive and you're spiritually gifted, God told you what these people said. I don't feel like your person told you what these people said. I feel like God told you in a dream, a vision, or however it is God communicate with you. You knew exactly what these people said about you. You knew the lies. You knew about the gossip. Even if you didn't, even if you didn't see it or see it, heard it from these people's mouth, God showed you through a vision or a dream or something on what these people were saying, like what they were doing. And they wanted this King of Pentacles, your divine masculine, to walk away from you because they made it seem like you was a gold digger. Okay, you was out here giving it away. You 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 sleep around and stuff like that. That's why they wanted him to keep you a a, a secret, like a sneaky link or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why your person was scared to kind of like let people know that he was dealing with you because of how bad they was talking about you. But your person realized that they were all lies and he found out that they was really jealous of you. You know what I'm saying? What does jealous people... Jealous people wish that they had what you had. So they talked all this crap about you, but why would they be jealous of you? If you were so bad, you see what I'm saying? Your person got the news, baby. Your person know the T. Why would anybody be jealous of you? And they talk all this crap about you. If you, if you, if you were so bad and you wasn't nothing, and if you sleeping with everybody and you a gold digger, you ain't this and you ain't that, then why would they be jealous of you? These people were jealous of you. So they lied on you. They gossip about you and talk bad about you. And 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 not only that, they didn't want you to have this man and he a king of pentacles. What? They would have really been jealous then. Child, they didn't want you to be with this man. And they didn't want the thing is, y'all, they knew that you was a good woman. It could have been friends that knew you was a good catch. And they didn't want a good woman in your person life. You see what I'm saying? He, this person even had hidden enemies around him, child. You know. Let me see. Why was this person so much in a mental prison? Why, why was Because he had a whole lot of anxiety over the situation. Nine of Swords. It was a lot of anxiety. He couldn't even sleep over the situation. That's why he was in a mental prison. He couldn't even sleep. I, when he at, at nighttime, y'all, I feel like all he thought about was you and his connection. Because he wanted to be with you so bad. But these people always was running their mouth about you. Yeah. Y'all, somebody was talking about your money. These people was talking about you ain't had no money in the bank. You was broke. 
and stuff like that. And he'll be a fool to be with you and stuff like that. Like, don't save her. She just wants you to give her something or help her out. Oh, baby, don't let you be no single mother. Don't don't let you have no cheering. See, it's a tower for these people, though. It's a tower for whoever this low vibrational Scorpio is. Whoever this is that was jealous of you. Okay, with this with this uh, confirmation with this death card. Because your person finna clean your house. You hear me? Your person finna clean house. He not a lot of these people he ain't even finna be messing with no more when he come towards you. Because he cleared out his life so he can come towards you here. Okay, y'all finna, might finna get ready to move together, get a home together or something like that. Y'all could be having like a housewarming, but it might not be a whole lot of people there. I feel like y'all both gonna be coming, meeting y'all soul tribe, like people that really love y'all and care about y'all. And these fake and phony folks getting knocked out y'all life left and right. Your person cleaning house, I'm telling you, when he come towards you, a lot of these people that lied on you and was gossiping and was messy, he, done, he cutting them off. Because he got the tea, he already know that these people were really just jealous of you. Yep. I'm telling you, he making space in his life right now for you. He cleaning things up right now. Because he want to be with you. Yeah, and it's a tower moment for this jealous person or jealous people. Yeah, but this man, he couldn't even sleep at night because he was constantly thinking about how he was going to be with you and all these people didn't like you. But they really did, though. That's the thing. They really did. They were just jealous. That's it. These are people here, y'all, that really think that you're beautiful. They think that you're smart. They think that you're gifted. They they look they look at you as a good in a and they look at you and they like you, but at the same they jealousy got had them hating you though. That's the thing. It was the jealousy because they couldn't be like you. They couldn't do what you do. They, or they didn't have what you had or something like that. I feel like it's your energy. Because these are people here that told this man that you was a gold digger. And they said that you was broke. These were the rumors that you were broke. You didn't have enough money. He the king of pentacles. He got money. He need to be with somebody that got stuff like him. He was only going to be in a hole if he give it because you was going to take him down. Because you was going to was gonna be too needy or too clingy and... He, you just looking for somebody to take care of your kids if you got kids and things like that. And if you ain't got kids, you were struggling and you just needed somebody that you can use as a come up. Y'all, all these was the lies. All of these was the lies, y'all. These people even said you was broke. But they were jealous of you, though. So why would you be jealous of somebody that's broke then? Why would you be jealous of somebody that sleep with everybody? Why would you be jealous of somebody here that, 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 um, Ain't got nothing to offer. It don't even make sense, dude. It don't even sound right coming even out of my mouth. So it sound crazy for them to even be that way. Because these people here, they really liked you. They was just jealous and hate. I'm telling you. And really, honestly, I'm really even getting whoever the friends were. Some of the friends were. Didn't want to see this man with a good woman. It's like they got a kick out of seeing him get played or something. Because these people know that you were a good woman. But they was trying to get in his mind that you wasn't. Even if it was female friends. Or they wanted them for, for they sell. But yeah, your person, I feel like, cried over this connection. He has literally shed tears over this connection. And I feel like he tried to protect you by not telling you what people were saying. So he didn't tell you what they were saying about you. But as time went on, he knew that everything that they were saying was a lie. It was just he was too weak to fight against all of this at first. But now he finna defend you and stand up for you because he know who you are. What's this crush? Give me something on this crush. It's sad. Okay. This king of swords right here, y'all finna hurt some feelings. It's some people here, y'all. This person don't care about being alone no more. This person don't care about this friend group like that no more. Because he realized that they messy. Okay? And they petty. They, and they judgmental. And they, and they ain't even got no room to be judging like that. And they harshly judged you for no reason. 
and he finding out that they really jealous of you the whole time because everything they were saying was a complete lie. He the king of swords with these people. He cutting them off and he telling them the truth and he standing up for you. Yeah. Because he know that God sent you in his life. He know that you his divine feminine. So where it was, these people wanted you to be alone and broken and sad because they broke up you and this person. Now they finna be sad, broken, and alone because now he finna stand up for you and he love you and he finna love you out loud. He don't care what these people got to say because he know it's a lie. And then you got cleansing so your person could be meditating. So he can definitely be alone. Your person could actually be feeling alone too because he done cut these people off and maybe he haven't came towards you just yet. So he's meditating. He's cleansing his space. He's removing any kind. I'm telling you, he removing negativity out of his life. He ready to come give you this love offer and he holding on to you. I feel like he was holding on to you the whole entire time. Okay, yeah, he definitely ready to come towards you real quick with this Knight of Swords. And he went through some type of transformation too because he know you. He know that you're his twin flame and he balancing things out in his life with this chariot. So whoever these enemies are, whatever he was dealing with mentally or whatever, any kind of health issue, mentally, physically, emotionally, he he he's overcoming that with that chariot. Balance is being restored in his life and in his connection. And your person, he removing any kind of negative negativity out of his life. So he, he ain't dealing with these people. So you really ain't even got to worry about them being a uh, 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 interference anymore. Yeah, this person about to chase you. <laughs> okay, chase a hot pursuit. Okay, this person finna chase you, collective. Okay. And yeah, he finna chase you down. You, know, somebody, you could be a Pisces, your person could be a Pisces, or you can have uh, Pisces in your chart here. Okay. Yeah. Y'all, I feel like these these people here, uh, yeah, it was like a secret competition. They wanted to keep this person stuck. Okay. Because it's the Eight of Swords is coming out and you already had mental prison. They wanted to keep him stuck. In his head. Maybe they knew this person had either a low self-esteem or was very insecure. Because these are people here that know your person. They've been around your person. So they he maybe could confine in these people or he could know or they could know some of the things that he dealt with and they knew how to get to him. Like they knew what to say to get to him. Right? And they did that. They manipulated him. It was with what they were saying. It could have been spell work, but I feel like this was this was them manipulating a lot by what they were saying too. Yep. And then it show where you're very, you're very creative. You're very creative, you kind, and they go to intuitive again. Y'all are definitely intuitive. That could be another thing. You're very intuitive. Maybe they, I don't know how they know it, but maybe they know that. They didn't like that. They was jealous of your intuition. And they wanted this person to be indecisive, like not knowing to come towards you or not. So that's why he was in and out all the time. Because that these people, these people knew every time you came to his life because he started changing and healing. He maybe didn't want to go out like that or party like that or something like that. Maybe he was more at the house or he was sitting in the house talking to you on the phone or messaging you or something like that. They can always tell when you're around. And they always tried to get him away from you. And your person is realizing it. Like he got the T. Yeah, he got the T. He know. Look the levels. Yeah, y'all. This person look at you as his soulmate. Okay, he ready to be with you. He finna here to chase you down. You hear me? He like, baby, I'm finna stand up for you. Forget what they talking about, cause I want you. It don't, it don't matter what they got to say, cause I know they were some liars. And some snakes that I had to cut off. Because <laughs> they really were. They really were low-key. No, they yeah, they were low-key hating. But it, the, the hate got loud. Okay? It got real loud. I'm telling you. But they were jealous of you. These, these friends, this friend group, and these family members were jealous of you, Divine Feminine. You hear me? Baby. They said, uh-uh, not her. Not her. 
anybody but her. She ain't gonna be a part of our friend group. Don't bring her around her. Cause I heard she did this. And I heard she was messing with him and him and him. And I heard she was broke. She ain't got this. She just used both for money and this and that. Girl, bye. Look, your person said, I'll leave it to you on how fast we move. I know you still care. I'm forever committed to you. So your person know that. I feel like by you being so intuitive, you already know what's going on. You already knew what was going on. I feel like you just was waiting on your person to see through these people BS and they miss. And he do now, though. He do. So that's why, you know, he like, look, I'll leave it to you on how fast we move. Because maybe, it, you know, y'all ain't going to want to rush nothing, you know, with this person. Because he was team his family and team their friend group at one point. And he was trying to deal with you in secret. So, you know, it may take you some time to tr trust him again or let your guard down with him again. You know what I'm saying? Because he let these people get to his head, you know, and you want to make sure that he don't completely cut these folks off or they can't come in and get to his head again. So that's why he's saying, look, I understand that you might not trust me, you know, right away and all of that. And that, and it's cool, but I want, I want you to trust me again. I want to gain your trust, earn your trust again. And I'll leave it to you on how fast we move because I know how everything happened. You know what I'm saying? That you ain't just going to accept me back with open arms like ain't nothing ever happened. Or these people ain't never did this or did that, especially since they was part of my family or my friends group. You know what I'm saying? So, But this is somebody here to know that you still care and love him. And he's saying no matter what happened, he's forever committed to you, even if it's just a friend. Okay, but he loves you and he gonna always have a special place in his heart for you. But he wanna be with you though. He don't wanna be no friend. He wanna be with you because he said he forever committed to you. You hear me? And so, hmm, it's all on you on what you wanna do. But that's all I have for you all. I hope this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. God love you and I do too. Bye y'all.